This is question 36. College Board tells us we have a quadratic model for distance traveled and gives us three positions at 10 seconds, we're 50 meters, at 20 seconds, we're 200 meters, and at zero seconds, we're zero meters. And they ask for the total distance traveled by 30 seconds. The easy way to do this is quadratic regression on your graph and calculator. You put in our t values and our distance values in L1 and L2 as 0, 10, 20, 0, 50, 200, and stat, hit enter for edit on the TI-83 or 84. Make sure you know how to do linear regression, quadratic re regression, or other regression as required on your graph and calculator if you have a different model. And the x values are 0, 10, and 20, or t values. The y values or d values I'll put in a list 2 as 0, 50, and 200. And then I go back to stat on my TI-8384. I go right to calculate and scroll down for quadra quadratic regression and you may have different menus depending on the age and operating system for your graphing calculator. But choose the appropriate options to get list one and list two. And I get distance equals one half t squared. And let's check that. At t equals zero, I get a distance of zero, which matches. At t equals 10, I get 1 half 10 squared is 1 half of 100 is 50. And at 10, I, 10 seconds, I do get 50 meters. And at t equals 20, 20 squared is 400, half of 400 is 200. And I, that matches the distance of 200. Now let's check what their question was. What's the distance traveled after 30 seconds? Distance is 1 half 30 squared, which is 1 half of 900 is 450. You could do this by hand. You can solve for a general quadratic given three points, but we can simplify it by assuming it's just going to be a constant times t squared and see if that works. And if that doesn't work, then you can solve by hand. But I'm not going to go through that because it takes a significant amount of time to explain each step. I would suggest learning how to do quadratic regression by hand Khan Academy is likely to have a good video for that. And then come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.